Bhaskaracharya's fame spread after the release of his works Leelavati and Bijaganit. Bhaskara's brilliance is seen in his skill in making math interesting to the common folk. Bacha Akbar was fascinated by the fact that Leelavati had remained popular among his subjects for four centuries and commissioned a translation in Persian. British scholars were amazed to see Bhaskara's methods being taught widely in India for 700 years after Bhaskara's time. Bhaskara's work Leelavati covers many branches of mathematics, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and a little trigonometry and calculus. Later in his life, Bhaskaracharya served as the head of the astronomical observatory in Ujjain. He created two popular works on astronomy in which he postulates that gravity is a necessary force in keeping planets in their orbits. He estimated the diameter and the circumference of the Earth with a 99% accuracy. His works on astronomy covering topics such as the parallax error, mean motion of planets and the fundamentals of spherical trigonometry became standard reference materials replacing those written by earlier authors. Bhaskaracharya and his predecessors in Ujjain revived the scientific temper of the Vedic period by expressing their observations of the solar system in the form of mathematical formulae. However, Ujjain met the same fate as Nalanda, Takshashila and other universities in the hands of the invading armies within two decades after Bhaskara's death. Bhaskaracharya's grandson continued the tradition by starting a school of astronomy in Patne near Chalisgaon under the patronage of the Yadava dynasty. Today, the ruins of Patne are a reminder of the quest for mathematical ideas in order to improve astronomical predictions. Astronomical discoveries faded with the destruction of Ujjain, but the tradition of mathematics survived. Engineers assimilated the knowledge of trigonometry, geometry, and improved techniques to build forts, large buildings, water tanks, and new cities. The historic fort of Devagiri, close to Patne, constructed right before Bhaskara's birth, was an engineering marvel of its times. This robust fort attracted the attention of the Sultan of Delhi, Muhammad bin Tughlaq, who relocated his capital to Devagiri for just two years. The patronage for the mathematical traditions of the subcontinent shrunk with the arrival of Islamic rule in the Deccan Plateau. Mathematicians found a safe haven in the Vijayanagar Kingdom. The ruins of the capital city of the Vijayanagar Kingdom, Hampi, a World Heritage Site, speak in silence about excellence in engineering, rainwater harvesting, water management systems, roadways, marketplaces, city layout planning and stone masonry fittings. Gol Gumbas, a famous monument in Bijapur, the birthplace of Bhaskaracharya, attests to the innovative application of mathematics in the way whispers from one corner of the building get carried to the other. After the fall of the Vijayanagar Kingdom, ancient texts and interest in ancient sciences were preserved under the patronage of the Travancore rulers and the Vadayars of Mysore. The Madhava school of mathematics flourished in Kerala. The mathematicians of this school refined Bhaskara's ideas on infinite series and the trigonometric tables. Visiting Jesuit scholars of the 16th century had access to these advancements. Historians of mathematics at the Manchester University recently published a paper to the effect that Jesuit scholars played a big role on Renaissance thinkers in Europe. Coincidences are mounting between discoveries attributed to Renaissance mathematicians and texts 
from earlier centuries from India, which suggests that the direct contact between the two cultures set the pace of progress leading up to today's science and technology.